Welcome, Libra Scorpio, to your reading for the 20th through the 24th. Hope you friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers. Anyone new, welcome, welcome. Sorry, guys, that this is getting out late. Your first video was corrupted. I do not understand what the heck happened, but I'm redoing it and getting it going. Let's see what's going on with you. challenging times so having a little bit of challenging times coming out right now um talking about some something that's actually kind of challenging challenging it feels kind of mental um in a lot of ways for some of you more than it is anything Let's clarify um, the situation yeah, opportunity beckons Share the love is in reverse. We manifest. Allowing you to take the lead. So with the opportunity beckoning with the share of the love, it's just showing that there is something definitely going on over here that is talking about maybe even some kind of a power struggle that's going on. Uh, maybe arguments. Um, it just feels like it's kind of reached its climax over here. It's kind of hard to take the power back or show any of the magic or allow the magic to come through at this time. It's not going in the direction that you actually want it to, but you're aware of the toxicity that is at hand throughout the situation with the Three of Cups upside down. So there could, could definitely be two other people involved besides just one or two other situations. Um, talking about that separation of the joy and the happiness that should be there um, wanting to have some kind of breakthrough coming through with the fool. It's like, I'm waiting for this new beginning. I'm waiting for the magic and all of these things to come through, but I'm just not seeing it at this time. There's no trust within the situation. You guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but it does feel like there is no trust to this situation. It could also be dealing with a cancer. Um, but yeah, definitely feeling the swords over here. It's like a, you want to let go of the situation, but it's almost like you're not sure exactly which direction to go in at this time. And yes, juggling the thoughts of which path to go. As they have you kind of in this challenging time, guys, or this situation, I really do feel it's people. Um, I do feel like you're pulled in two different kinds of directions, and but you're also kind of stuck in an impasse as well. Um, but there is come some kind of determination to get to where you need um, to be, right? Whether it's kicking off some kind of communication with this person to say, hey, this is what it needs to be and wanting to overcome the bickering, overcome the fighting and the arguments. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of squaring off right now um, with the, yeah, looking for the nine of of cups taking the lead is actually going to allow you to perceive things from a different view but it does feel like the person that you are dealing with has their own kind of view to the situation which is not allowing this to come through the way you want to how is it going to come together my friends if they can't recognize and have any kind of recognition of what is truly going on within the situation so waiting for some kind of reward uh, from this you know is definitely keeping it the keeping everybody at an impasse definitely could be dealing with fire sign and and a air sign i feel like one's trying to make everything kind of pull together and then the other one's just really separating the situation so it almost feels like you're trying to pull this way they're trying to pull back at you and then the other one's just ripping you apart <laughs> right so there could be also some un unexpected news that's coming your way, um, you know, that's going to allow you to take the lead and connecting towards how to change this, this obstacle and this challenge. Um, so it does feel like right now, though, it is definitely reaching its standstill where you're going to see the magic happen, but yet it's not going to be exactly the way you definitely want it to be. Um, you know, because there's still going to be some opposition there with the Ace of Cups upside down because it's saying it's not going to overfill the whole situation. Right, so there's still going to be opposition. 
it's just not going to be as negative as it once was. So it's having kind of a pessimistic, um, it's definitely having a pessimistic view no matter what, but it is taking more of an optimistic turn. See what I'm saying? So, and that's just because they're still not 100% seeing what it is that's truly going on within the situation. So it's still call it, causing some kind of delay over here. We can see that. So, yeah, definitely some kind of separation that you're trying to kind of bring together, but it's just not coming together the way you want it to. Um, clarifying on the King of Wands, because the King of Wands actually feels like that's the person that is actually more involved in, within the situation. Yeah. But yeah, it does feel like they still kind of feed you fear in this situation about what's going on. And I think it's because, yeah, yeah. But they're your support. So they're your support. So I'm going to say in this situation, take it how it resonates. If it's not, you know, it doesn't have to be any of these signs. But pretty much we're going to say Sag over here is supporting the situation. But yet because they can see it for what it really truly is, they're going to speak it as it is, not sugarcoating nothing, and it causes a little fear base, right? It causes more anxieties about what is going on with the cancer who keeps pulling you in all kinds of different directions and having a lot of problems. So, but this person does definitely try. I, I, I do see over here that they are trying to, you know, help you to open up the, the line of communication with the cancer or trying to get the cancer to open up a better line with you, right? So there's definitely some kind of achievement that's trying to be pushed together, but until we're going to say cancer can get this through their head, that this is not exactly what it is. They may even be over-emotional about the situation. Yeah. It's not going to go that way because they're not going to move forward the way you want them to. So... It looks like for now, they're just going to kind of sit in the kind of corner over here towards, you know. Yeah, well, as soon as you start really taking the lead within the situation, it's just going to back them up. So they're not going to be pulling on you anymore. They're more like in maybe even a reflection mode or just maybe ghosting. Yeah, but they're not taking the transitional move. They're just letting go of that issue. Okay, fine, they're going to say, right? Fine. That's it. You don't want to see it my way, but you're like, but that's not what it is. I, it might be a rose-colored glasses type of situation, or it's just that they're really that stubborn to not want to see it your way for what it truly is. So there could be a little grudge holding going on as well. Yeah, because no matter what, they're a little over-emotional and really up in their head now. But they're going to have you a little in your head as well because as you're trying to travel towards them to make them understand something, now you're just pushing them into a corner. What are they going to do with the Five of Cups? Right? And it feels like for some of you, you're both holding the Five of Cups because now you're just really upset about the situation and they're upset about the situation. So now it goes from bickering to kind of, well, you take your corner, I'll take mine. So now there's like... No talking. Absolutely no talking. Ghosting. Cold shouldering. So, yeah. Until it can actually be finalized or come to some kind of conclusion. But for now, there is nothing, right? There's nothing there. There's no moderate movement. And everything's unfair and unjustified within the situation. But at least, like I said, even though it's still on a negative note, at least it does have a little bit of a positive turnaround. And the positive turnaround actually... In this reading is kind of crazy guys because it's actually just you two not fighting anymore that's really all it is so at least there's that right no more bickering so at least that will it keep it will keep it calmer right and it'll help you get over a little more stress if they're gonna have you still in your head because you're still gonna be thinking over here like you know how am I gonna do this how am I gonna do that you know will this continue to just you know stay savory, you know, and it is, but at least it's calmer. It's much, much calmer, whether it's in the household itself, with, it's in the love platonic workplace. However, we get the four of wands, you can assume that it's in the, the homestead. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.